Hallelujah in this place. Hallelujah in this place. See, it's a problem. See, when you can press past all your situations, when you can get yourself through all those things that you've been going through and still come into God's house and still open up your mouth, still clap your hands, still wave your hands, stomp your feet and still give God some praise and still give God some glory. I know what you're going through is rough. I know what you're going through is hard. I know what you're going through seems unsurpassable, unsurmountable, but God is able to do a seating abundantly above all we can ask to think according to what what already working in you, and that's your power. Oh, hallelujah in this place. He is worthy to be praised anyhow. Come on, you might as well say anyhow. He is worthy to be praised anyhow. Glory be to God. Come on, let get into the word. Hallelujah on today. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. See, the enemy would have us come in here down and have us come in here all, all broken, busted, and disgusted and all those things. Hallelujah. Not give God some praise or not give him some glory. Yeah, the thing may not be fixed yet. The thing may not have been broken yet. But trust and believe. With God on your side. God will do it sure enough. All we got to do is hold on a little while. Because that thing will go away. All we got to do is hold on a little while. And God will step in right on time And begin to fix some stuff Begin to change some stuff Hallelujah in here Oh I'm going to get to the message But I want you to understand something today That I am standing with victorious feet I am standing on the promise of God I am believing and trusting God That it is already done That what I've asked him for Is already being accomplished I don't care what it looks like I don't care what the enemy tries to bring my way I already see the revelation of it I see the end part of it And I understand that my ending According to God's holy scriptures My latter days will be better than my former days So I'm walking in my revelation I'm walking in glory Let me get to the message Hallelujah in here. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Father God, in your mighty name, Jesus. Lord, we ask that you can continue to have your way in this word on today. God, I ask that you speak to and through me, Lord. I ask that you would just continue to bless God. Continue to move by your spirit in this place. God, we give you all glory and all honor, God. Lord, we just ask, Lord, that you word this mouth of clay, God. That us bring forth the word that you have prepared for us on today. God, we are just having our plates and our cups out there, God. Ready to be fed and filled, uh, filled, uh, uh, filled by you, God. So, God, we ask that you do it on today, God. Lord, I ask that you decrease me again there, God. That you may be increased. Lord. Lord, I ask that you use me like never before, God. Let your anointing show up and show out, God. Lord, and I thank you right now, God, for the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Lord, let it be acceptable in thy sight, for you are my Lord, my strength, and my redeemer. Amen. 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 Certainly, we honor the spirit of the Lord. God is just worthy to be praised. He's worthy of the glory, and he's worthy of the honor. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but I needed that praise break for a second. Amen. Needed to, you know, set the atmosphere just a little bit. Amen. For uh, the Lord's word. And I thank God for our praise and worship team. Amen. 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 Ushering us into that spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to just look at a few uh, scriptures on today. Amen. And I started uh, uh, thinking about this uh, message, as I said last week, but uh our, our youth pastor brought a, a, a dynamic word as well uh, last Sunday. So uh, we just thank God for just her being the ram on last Sunday. But God has given me this message. Amen. And it's for us. Amen. To understand. Um, and we're going to be coming from Jeremiah. Uh, one of the foundation scriptures, I would say, is going to be coming from Jeremiah, the 29th chapter, uh, verses 11 and 13. 
And we're going to see what God has for us uh, in those scriptures there. But uh, when God gave me this uh, a message, it was uh, some situations that was going on. It was some things uh, that was going on uh, in my life and, and in the lives of, of, of uh, people, amen, that uh, I spoke to and I talked to and, and life and situations and stuff uh, was, was coming about and happening and, and just attacking and one thing after the other, this situation after this situation. And, and I began to uh, think about it that uh, sometimes when we're going through these situations in life, these uh, things that, that, that come uh, uh, upon us or these things that we find ourselves in, we see it for the here and now. We see it for what it is now. But we have to understand that uh, just because it's what it is now doesn't mean it's going to stay the same way. Amen. Oh, somebody better grab that right now. Because when we look at the situation and, and even if we uh, uh, define a uh, situation, if we defined it down to its uh, uh, definition, it's just as a set of circumstances. It's a set of circumstances in which we find in which one finds itself offset. Or we, well, someone finds itself uh, uh, in a certain circumstance. So when we understand what uh, the situation is, your, your situation may be different than mine. Even though we may be going through similar things or a similar uh, part of that thing, uh, we, we, we experience some differently. We experience that situation a little differently uh, than somebody else. And, and, and it's okay because it's unique to you. Mm -hmm. But when we understand uh, the the uh, uh, ending results of it is just because I'm going through that thing or that that uh, uh, circumstance or that situation now doesn't mean that that's my final result. That that's uh, where I'm going to uh, uh, spend the, the entire time uh, staying in. Uh, in the title, the title, and we can put the title. Up, the title for this message is not the situation, but it's the revelation. And I'm going to go somewhere with that in, in a few moments, because when you understand the principles uh, uh, behind what revelation is, revelation is a surprising or something that is surprising and previously unknown fact. And it's also something uh, uh, especially given in a di uh, dramatic way. So when we look at the revelation of something, we have to look at it as a surprising thing. Uh, it's, it's something that was unknown. I, I don't know how I'm going to get out of the situation, but I know my revelation tells me I'm coming out. I, I don't I don't know how the situation got uh, to where it is and, and, and what caused it or what triggered it and all those things. Uh, but uh, I understand that it's a, it's a circumstance right now. But but when I, I add God to the equation and I apply God to this thing, I know that God is going to give me a dramatic way out of what I'm going through. Oh, stay with me a little bit. But we find here uh, that, that, that God uh, in every situation that we uh, go through, I don't focus on the situation so much. Uh, I look at the revelation part of it because I understand that there is going to be an expected end to this thing in which I'm going through. There's going to be an end to uh, uh, this uh, uh, circumstance or this situation. That's why it leads us to uh, this uh, passage of scriptures found in Jeremiah, the 29th chapter, and it's in says for I know the thoughts that I think towards you saith the Lord thoughts of peace and not evil it says to give you an expected end so I'm looking for my uh, or I'm, I'm walking in expectation because I'm waiting and understanding that God is going to bring this thing to pass and he's going to give me the end result that I need but as the scripture goes on it says and then shall uh, ye call on me and ye shall go and pray unto unto me and I will hearken unto you. Yeah. And in the last verse that we're going to use here it says and ye shall seek me and find me and when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Hallelujah. God is saying uh, uh, we, we want to have an expected end because he said I know the thoughts that I have towards you and you have to make that thing uh, personal. I, I love the way God's uh, word is, is written. I love the way he uh, brings it forth 
forth. And he allows us to understand that it's not just who's the writer of this thing and what the writer was trying to get apart. It was he was bringing it personally to each one of us. Because when it says, I know the thoughts that I have towards you. So he's putting it out to us. So if we look at this thing clearly, we understand that God has us on his mind. Oh, wow, that, 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 that's, that's something here. Uh, we we, we should have got a, a, a bigger reaction, I, I would think, because we have to understand you got a God that created all things. You have a God that, 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 that spoke out into nothing and everything has become. And you have a God that says I can do everything and, and perform everything and fix everything. And you have a God that, that tells us that he's thinking about us or that we are on his mind. I, I thank God for being on his mind because if I wasn't on his mind where would I be today if I wasn't on his mind I would be out there lost if I wasn't on his mind I would be somewhere uh, succumbed by the enemy and the tactics of the enemy and my circumstances but because God said I know the thoughts that I have for you hallelujah he said and there, the thoughts are of peace and the thoughts are not of evil so God is looking at me he has me on his mind and he's telling me he's going to send peace to whatever I'm going through. See, you don't understand something because when God sent peace to your circumstance or peace to that situation, it means he's sending calm in your atmosphere. It means that those things that are troubling you, those things that are bothering you are not going to bother you much longer because God is sending peace towards it. I don't know about you, but there was times in my life when I was sick. There was times in my life when I was sick in my body. I couldn't hardly walk. Couldn't hardly get from one end to the other end. And I was standing there in the midst of my situation. And I said, God, I can't serve you if I can't walk. I said, God, I can't be effective like you want me to be. And there's no thing against somebody who cannot walk and still ministering. But I understood me. I told you it's an individual thing. I said, God. I need to fully be able to function uh, in order to do what I need to do for you. Uh, and it got pain in my body. Uh, but I was looking at my now for a moment. Uh, but God said, look at your revelation. Uh, God said, you're not going to stay there. Uh, God said, you're not going to stay in this sense. Uh, it's for my glory. Uh, I didn't understand what it was about. Uh, but now I can tell somebody uh, who has herniated discs, uh, who have bulging discs, uh, who have sciatic nerve problem who have spinal stenosis yes when I got the diagnosis I said what in the world is spinal uh, uh, stenosis they said your joints are so tightly together that even if we did some operating we got to use a microscopic to be able to see between your joints people don't understand how on earth am I functioning how on earth am I still getting around hallelujah in here but guess what my revelation told me that God will do something drastic. God will do something dramatic in my life. And trust and believe my doctors can't understand it. How come you're not somewhere in a wheelchair? How come your back is not hurting you all day long? Hallelujah. But I'll tell them sure enough. I serve a mighty God. I serve a God that can do all things. Hallelujah in here. Oh, let me go on in here. We find right now that we worry too much about our situation and we have to start looking at the revelation of this thing. Yes, it's rough right now. Yes, I can barely see my way out. Yes, my strength is fading. Yes, the doors are closing all around me. Yes, it's difficult in my life. Yes, I'm going through some pain. Yes, I'm going through some strife. But thank you, Jesus. I understand that it ain't the situation. Situation. It's the revelation behind it. I understand, God, that I'm coming out of this thing. And I was totally surprised. I told you what revelation is. It's a surprising and previously unknown fact. It was unknown to me how I was going to get out of this. It was unknown to me how I was going to get healed. I tried the injections. I tried the medicine. I tried all kinds of things. And none of them things would work. It was a temporary thing. But I'm talking about a God that said I don't work with the 
temporary. I work, mm, hallelujah, on complete doing it. Hallelujah in here. So those things was temporary. But I serve a God that is almighty. I serve a God that has no beginning or no end. Hallelujah in here. But thank you, Jesus for blessing me and bringing me out of that pain and that thing in which I was suffering through. Yes, it's difficult right now. Yes, I understand that the situation seems dire. Yes, I understand that it seems like there's no hope. Yes, I understand that they have given up on you. They have taken their hands off your situation. Said that's it. That's all. But thank you, Jesus. We serve a mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, that we serve a God that is right there, always on time. So in my situation, I don't only give God praise because of what I'm going through. I give God praise because I see my way out. I give God praise for the end result of what I'm going through. Oh, y'all, just be with me just a few moments, and I'll let you go home and catch some of them pre-games. But we thank God on today that God said in his word hallelujah in here every time that we find ourselves in dire situation God said remember I'm thinking about you and I think these things about you to have some peace in your mind they're not evil but good for you so we better understand something here today that I'm not focusing on this thing no more because I understand that God is about to do something. He's about to do something unknown to me. Why do I understand that so clearly? Because one of his verses says, that when people are saying to you, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, nor have it entered into the hearts of man, the things that God has for you. Meaning I didn't see it. I didn't know how it was going to happen. But God brought me through. And God brought me out. He's bringing somebody out of something. He's bringing somebody out of something here today. But when we look closely into his word, we understand that God will do something in the midst of what we're going through. He will take the things that we find that is rough in our life and he will smooth them things out. We find in his holy scriptures, we find that even those mountains and valleys that we find ourselves into, we find that the crooked places, we find that there's narrow ways. We find that there's rough things. But in Isaiah 40, 3 and 4, it says to us, sure enough, every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight and the rough places shall be smooth. Now, let me tell you something. I work in the water department. I work in the water department. And in the water department, we have to put in water pipes. And in the putting in these pipes, we have to check what is called the C factor. We have to check the C factor of this pipe before we put it in. Now, for some of you who don't know what the C factor of pipe is, it's the smoothness of the inside of the pipe. It's the smoothness of the interior of something. Oh, stay with me for a moment. And the smoother the inside of the pipe, the, the more velocity and the more uh, uh, less restriction uh, uh, that the, the water or the liquid uh, has to flow through. So when you have a higher C factor. When you have a high C factor in a pipe, it means that it's so smooth that nothing is obstructing it. Watch me. I'm going somewhere. We have a C factor. We have a great C factor. And hallelujah in here. My C factor is Jesus Christ. My C factor is Christ Almighty. The one who died for my sins. I told you the principle of the C factor is the interior smoothness of something and when it's smooth in the inside it means more stuff can flow through it hallelujah in here when I have my C factor which is Christ in me dwelling down in me hallelujah here each situation each difficult problem each thing that I find myself going through I find is less 
friction. Oh, hallelujah in here. I find that there's no energy loss. Hallelujah. And when my C factor steps in, he smooths out all the rough places. He moves those things that had me burdened. He moves those mountains and make them into molehills. He takes my valleys and bring them up high. Hallelujah in here. Oh, I'm almost done here. But we have to understand something I can barely see right now. Some of us may be saying in our spirit, but God said to you and to me on today, I've already showed you a way of an escape. I already smoothed that thing out for you. I already gave you the highest C factor, which is Christ himself. There's no other C factor higher. There's no other person we can call on that can get us out of the turbulence to get us out of the problems that we find ourselves in. So thank you, God, for sending your son down one day to die for my sins. But I'm here today to tell you, even if you can barely see right now, God is still working that thing out. God has made a way of escape for you. All you got to do is trust and believe. All you got to do is lean on God's unchanging hand and watch God work that thing out for you. My strength was almost gone. My foot had almost slipped, but God strengthened me. Hallelujah in here. He said in his word, but God said, I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with my right hand and my righteousness. I don't know about you, but sometimes I need God to hold me up while I'm going through my situation because I don't understand why. But God, I know if I stay in your hands, I will see the revelation of this thing. I will see this thing working out for my good hallelujah in here though those doors may be shutting though those opportunities may be fleeting I know in God's word in revelations 3 and 6 it says I've opened up doors before you that no man can shut hallelujah in here if God has opened up a door, trust and believe no man can shut it. No man can close it. Hallelujah in this place. Come on in here now, God. I tell you sure enough that God is about to change the atmosphere of your situation. He's about to bring a revelation that you have never seen before. God is about to do something mightily on your behalf. And some may even say that it's dramatic. Some may even say it was unknown. Some may even say surprise, but I'm here today to tell the devil, surprise, you thought you had me, surprise, you thought I was going to roll over and take it, surprise, God is doing something dramatic, you thought I was going to be broke down, but surprise, you thought this thing was going to take me under, surprise, you thought I was going to give in, surprise, you thought that things was going to break me down but surprise I'm still yet standing I'm still yet pushing do you got a surprise in your spirit the devil thought he had you the devil thought he was destroying you surprise hallelujah in here oh come on y'all ain't saying it right if somebody was celebrating and you jumped out at them you would yell surprise so I'm telling you to do it to the enemy he thought he had you down. He thought he had you destroyed. He thought he had you overtaken. Surprise! I'm still yet standing. I'm still yet moving. I'm still yet pressing on. Because God seen the situation. But he didn't understand my revelation. God said, I see the plans that I have for you. And it's not to stay where you are. Hallelujah in here. Surprise. Hallelujah in here. I dare you to open up your mouth. And give God your best praise. And surprise your own self. Glory be to God. Come on, I'm, I'm trying to finish this thing. 
we find here even in the book of Romans just give me five more minutes in the book of Romans the 8th chapter 31st verse it says what shall I say to these things if God be for us who can be against us oh my God can I answer the questions can I just give y'all a little bit the first part of the question said what shall we say to these things every situation that I go through you know what I say to these things it ain't surprise you know what I say to these things I say that my God is able I begin to thank God I begin to bless his holy name I begin to tell God I understand in your word you said this too shall pass and I'm standing and leaning on it I say here that I am no longer the tail I am the head of this thing I am no longer beneath but I'm above this thing hallelujah in here the enemy wanted you to be destroyed he wanted your situation to take you over but thank you Jesus I am no longer a borrower I am a lender sure enough hallelujah in here God is moving mightily on each one of our behalfs but all you got to do is give him some praise because your revelation looks so much better than your situation you're in right now hallelujah in here if God be for us who can be against us let me answer this question and I'm closing if God be for us who can be against us let me simply tell you this I can sum it up in one word if God be for us who can be against us nothing 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 I don't care what it is I don't care who it is that's why I said nobody that's why I didn't say nobody or no one nothing nothing can be against me if God is on my side he's more than this whole world he's more than this whole world against me hallelujah in here do we have some witnesses here today hallelujah I don't care what the wicked one done I don't care what the hell hounds are saying God is moving on your behalf God is working this thing out right now and no matter come hell or high water I'm going to continue to serve God I'm going to continue to trust God because God is able God will bring us out God will move mountains God will move stones in God was sure enough doing hallelujah in here can we put our hands together for God one more time in this place hallelujah come on open up your mouth open up your mouth declare it in your situation tell your situation right now it's already done in Jesus mighty name tell your situation surprise you thought you had me but my C factor kicked in you thought you destroyed me but my C factor kicked in hallelujah in here y'all some of y'all still looking surprised hallelujah here I know it's surprising that that thing didn't take you under I know it's surprising that that thing didn't destroy you Hallelujah, but I count it all joy, trusting and believing God, that God is doing it sure enough, so no matter the circumstances, God is able, surprisingly, to do the thing that's unknown, I didn't see how I was going to get out, I didn't see how the pain was going to leave, but God knew all about it, and he said, enough's enough, he said, pain, withdraw yourself, Sickness, bring yourself under subjection. Pain in the body. Joint stretch yourself. Put some supernatural space there. Hallelujah in here. And I just trust God. I believe God. Because now I have the victory. It's already done on my behalf. Power is already yours. You better grab this thing sure enough today. And if you don't leave here with anything, you better leave with some C-factor. 
you better leave with some surprise in you. You better believe with some uh, revelation in your circumstance that God is working it out, that God is doing it, and my end results is going to look so much better than my now position. Hallelujah in here. The songwriter wrote, through many dangerous stores and snares, I have already come. Tis his grace that brought me safely this far. And it's his grace that's going to lead me on. I don't know about you, but if it had not been for God, who was on my side one day, thinking about me, I would be lost. I would be destroyed. I would be already to the ground. But thank you, Jesus, for stepping in right on time. Now I'm more determined, more determined than ever. No matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, I am so determined that I'm going to stay on the field for God. I'm going to continue to do what God called for me to do. Oh, come on in here, God. We understand something here. The devil don't want you to praise him. The devil wants you to stay in your situation. But he don't understand that God sent a revelation one day and said, my servant shall live and not die. Hallelujah in here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes, I understand that this problem had me down. Yes, I understand that I was beaten up. Yes, I understand that it was racking with pain. Yes, I understand that this thing would seem like it wasn't going to break. But thank you, Jesus. He showed me a way. A way that's not like man's way. A way that is mighty with God. A way that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. All you got to do is trust in me. All you got to do is believe in me. And watch your revelation. Hallelujah in here. Watch God work it out. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Peter want to say something real quick. Peter said in 1 Peter 2 and 9, he said, but I, you are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You are a peculiar your people hallelujah in here that ye shall show forth your praises unto him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light I don't know about you but the enemy tried to keep you dark the enemy tried to keep you in blackness but thank you Jesus that the light of the world stepped in and stepped in sure enough and said I will show you a way of escape I will bring you out of this thing. I'm showing you a dramatic end. I'm surprising you. Hallelujah in here. Oh, give God your best praise. We have the C factor. It's not your situation. Hallelujah, but it's the revelation. It's the end result. Hallelujah. 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 And what God is doing. Yes. Come on, stand to your feet. Why are you standing? Why are you standing? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want you one more time. Yes, God. Tell your situation. Yes, God. Yes. Tell that enemy. Yes. You thought he had you. Yes. Surprise. Yes. Surprise. I'm still here. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody going to take that home with them. Come about midnight tonight, you're going to say, oh, thank you. Surprise. Hallelujah. Come on right where you are. Father God, in your mighty name, Jesus. Lord, we ask, dear God, that you would just look on us once again today. Move so mightily, dear God, on behalf of your people. God, we just ask that you would just do it for us. Lord, we couldn't see the way. We didn't understand it. But God, we thank you. We thank you, God, for showing us. We thank you, God, 
for bringing this thing out. It was unknown to us, God, how? But God, we thank you. We thank you for where we are. God, so we ask, Lord, that you continue to touch your people. Touch from the crown of their head to the very soles of our feet, God. Lord, we ask that your blood cover right now, God. Let your blood cover like never before, God. Dear God, on us, dear God. On our loved ones, our family, our friends, God. Let your blood cover, God. Lord, and we ask right now, God, that you release, dear God, your blessings on our life. Lord, that you release, dear God, your power, dear God, in us. Lord, we just ask that you continue to let your Holy Spirit dwell on the inside, God. Lord, we continue to provide us with the energy and the strength, dear God, that we need to go on. God, we just thank you in advance, dear God. We thank you, God, in advance, God, for what you are doing and what you have done. God, for when the manifestation of it happened, God, that we can see and we can tell someone that you are awesome. Hallelujah. God, we ask that you look on the unsaved right now. Touch them, God. Bring them into the fold there, God. Save the unsaved, God. Lord, and we just thank you for it, God. When they cry out, what must I do to be saved? God, we ask that you save them, God. Bless them there, God. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. God, allow them to walk in your truth. God, and we just thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. We ask this in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Come on, look at somebody and tell them you love them. Mean it in your heart. We're not just...